Voyager 1, the farthest distant artificial satellite from Earth, has recently established communication with an unidentified and exceptionally sophisticated entity in the vast expanse of outer space. Join us as we embark on this extraordinary journey of exploration and attempt to unravel the enigmas of this cosmic rendezvous. As of May 2023, Voyager 1 is currently located 14.3 billion miles away from Earth. By contrast, Voyager 2, which is an identical spacecraft as Voyager 1, is presently situated at a distance of 11.7 billion miles away from Earth. Voyager 1 is currently positioned 2.6 billion miles further from Earth than Voyager 2. There are other reasons for the difference in distance between the two spacecraft and Earth. One of the main factors is their divergent trajectories. Although both spacecraft were launched in 1977 and followed similar trajectories towards the outer planets of our solar system, their paths diverged once Voyager 2 completed its initial mission. Voyager 2 proceeded to investigate Uranus and Neptune, while Voyager 1 set a course for the outer regions of the solar system. Voyager 1 just established communication with a remarkably sophisticated entity located in outer space. Voyager 1 and 2 discovered active volcanoes on Jupiter's moon. They also revealed Saturn's intricate ring systems and the hexagonal cloud structure at Saturn's north pole. The Voyager 2 spacecraft was the first to visit Uranus and Neptune, revealing their complex atmospheres and moons. In 1989, the Voyager 2 spacecraft reached Neptune for the first time, gathering stunning photographs and acquiring revolutionary data about the remote planet and its moons. Voyager 2 was loaded with a collection of scientific instruments to examine Neptune and its surroundings. Six new moons were discovered near Neptune by Voyager 2, boosting the planet's total to 13. It also produced the first comprehensive photos of Neptune's rings, demonstrating that they are made up of microscopic ice and dust particles. Voyager 2 also passed close to Neptune's largest moon, Triton, exhibiting a landscape unlike any other in our solar system. Geysers on Triton detected by Voyager 2 discharge nitrogen gas and dust hundreds of feet into the air. It also revealed indicators of a youthful surface with few impact craters, indicating that Triton is geologically active. The expedition of Voyager 2 to Neptune was a triumph of human ingenuity and discovery. The spacecraft's data and photographs have revolutionized our understanding of the outer planets and their moons. On January 24, 1986, Voyager 2 arrived at Uranus, passing within 50,000 miles of the planet's cloud tops. Here are some of the most noteworthy discoveries from the Voyager 2 mission to Uranus. The discovery of 10 new moons surrounding Uranus by Voyager 2 boosts the planet's total to 27. It also revealed an odd magnetic field that was tilted at an angle of 60 degrees from the planet's axis of spin. Voyager 2 also passed near to numerous of Uranus's moons, including Miranda, whose surface appears to have been fractured and then restored. Surfaces of Uranus's moons range from highly cratered to quite smooth, as discovered by Voyager 2. The existence of ice and chemical substances on three of the moons was also identified by the probe, enhancing the chance that they could support life. The exciting news is NASA's Voyager 1 probe was the first man-made object to enter interstellar space. Its journey has provided us with a glimpse into this unexplored region and has taught us a great lot about the universe. Voyager 1 reached the boundaries of our solar system and entered interstellar space in 2012. It keeps sending back information about the cosmic rays and magnetic fields it encounters. Interstellar space, according to Voyager 1, is not a total vacuum but rather an area filled with dust, gas, and cosmic rays. It has also found a mystery hum or low-level vibration that scientists are still trying to figure out. Another mind-blowing discovery by Voyager 1 is the facts regarding the heliosphere. The heliosphere is the region of space around the sun that is impacted by the sun's magnetic field and solar wind. The heliosphere was discovered to be significantly larger than previously anticipated and asymmetrical, being pushed and sculpted by the interstellar wind. The density of the solar wind was also discovered to be declining when Voyager 1 reached the heliopause, the barrier where the solar wind meets the interstellar medium. This was a clear indication that Voyager 1 was on its way out of the solar system. Voyager 1 finally crossed the heliopause on August 25, 2012, officially entering interstellar space. 
Thus, Voyager 1 became the first human-made object to leave the solar system and enter the immense expanse of interstellar space, which was a momentous milestone for the project and for humanity. In 2018, Voyager 2 became the second human-made object to enter interstellar space. The journey of Voyager 2 into interstellar space was not simple. The spacecraft's detectors reported a sharp fall in the quantity of charged particles emitted by the Sun in 2017, indicating that Voyager 2 was reaching the heliosphere's edge. Voyager 2 finally crossed the heliopause on November 5, 2018, officially entering interstellar space. The voyage of Voyager 2 across interstellar space has been as spectacular as its trek through the outer solar system. It revealed a higher density of cosmic rays, offering new information about the interstellar medium. It has also found a magnetic field that is not aligned with the Sun's magnetic field, indicating that Voyager 2 has reached a new region of space. Earlier this year, Attitude Articulation and Control System ACS, of Voyager 1 began transmitting conflicting data to mission controllers questioning its actions and health. The ACS is a vital component of Voyager 1. The gear is responsible for maintaining the spacecraft's antenna directed at Earth. Without it, all of that crucial scientific data would be lost in space. The difficulty was that the AACS's data was garbled, keeping the scientists in the dark about the spacecraft's health and activity. It turned out to be a networking problem identical to what IT workers may confront on Earth. Essentially, the ACS was providing telemetry data, but it was being transmitted to the incorrect computer. Worse, it was an ancient computer that had failed many years earlier. This greatly affected the data, resulting in the weirdly garbled communications received by the ground team. It took the team some time to figure out what was wrong, and it was unclear why ACS suddenly began sending data to the wrong machine. Most likely, it received an improper command from another system. That suggests that they will have to remedy a problem somewhere else. However, the flaws have not yet presented a hazard to the spaceship. Fortunately, a data issue has been resolved by NASA engineers. Voyager 1 travels faster than Voyager 2. This is because Voyager 1 had a gravitational help from Jupiter, which supplied it with a speed boost that Voyager 2 did not receive. Voyager 1 is currently traveling at a speed of around 38,000 miles per hour, and Voyager 2 is traveling at a speed of approximately 34,000 miles per hour. The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft are considered to be among the most successful and famous space missions in history. NASA, the Jet Propulsion Laboratory, and many international partners collaborated on the mission. The two spacecraft were comparable and carried a suite of scientific instruments designed to explore the planets and their ecosystems. Voyager 2 was the first to be launched on August 20, 1977, followed by Voyager 1 on September 5. They were launched on Titan III rockets and used gravitational help from the planets to accelerate and change their direction. The major aim of Voyager 1 was to research Jupiter and Saturn, which it achieved wonderfully. However, after fulfilling its primary purpose, Voyager 1 proceeded on its journey, pushing further and further into space. The Voyager spacecraft sailed by Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, bringing spectacular photos and data that revolutionized our understanding of these distant worlds. Voyager 2 also sailed over Uranus's moon Miranda, displaying a varied and diverse surface. The Voyagers continued to fly westward after completing their planetary missions. Voyager 1 was the first human-made object to enter interstellar space in 2012, and Voyager 2 followed in 2018. The Voyager 1 and 2 spacecraft have gone down in history as two of the greatest space missions ever attempted. Their legacy will continue to inspire future generations as we endeavor to push the bounds of study and comprehension. Since it left our solar system, Voyager 1 has made incredible discoveries. It has detected the enormous magnetic field around the solar system's boundaries, which shields us from dangerous cosmic rays. It has also found a mystery tsunami wave generated by a massive solar outburst. In the shape of the golden record, Voyager 1 also contains a message from humanity. This record comprises sounds and sights from Earth, which are supposed to represent our planet and species to any future extraterrestrial life that may come into touch with the spacecraft. Voyager 1 has transformed our perception of the universe and our place in it. 
It has displayed the extraordinary intricacy and beauty of our solar system as well as the breadth of space beyond. And who knows what else it will discover as it continues its trek throughout intergalactic space. Subscribe to our channel for more information on this astounding discoveries and to join us on our voyage into the unknown. Our quest for knowledge and discovery knows no bounds, and we shall continue to search the universe for answers. By the way, did you know Voyager 1 just sent forth a terrible message back to Earth? Curious to discover more? Check out this video. Bye for now.